All right, good morning. Uh, we're here with uh, Sammy McRoberts at Five Star Propane. We're going to be showing you today how to uh, adjust a bypass on a Smith pump. Just keep in mind that the Smith pump is uh, the EG1Z model that we're going to be doing today is got 90 pounds of differential pressure. If you're doing something like a cork in C10 or C12, it gives off about 60 pounds of differential. Um, if you're unsure, check with your uh, manufacturer instructions on the pump or just call somebody at Tarrington and we'll be glad to help you with that. Um, we're going to be using a tool today. Uh, Sammy, bring the a tool over here and we'll show them. We've got a piece here that we use just to help the operator check the pressure at the tank so you don't have to keep coming back and looking at the gauge on the face of the pump. You can do it all from one end with uh, this piece of equipment. We'll actually list the parts below in case you just want to buy one and use for yourself. Um, it's a real crisp morning this morning in the Carolinas. We uh, got, uh, I think it's about 26, 27 degrees outside. Is that right, Sammy? Pretty close. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you in the Rigo's Servicemen's Manual over here that uh, you can get from your sales rep or just call anybody at Tarrington. I think on page four here it shows... Uh, the pressures right there it is vapor pressures of LP gas so if you can see if it's 30 degrees we should have 51.6 uh, pressure in, in, in propane at this degree also if you want to look in the new Tarrington catalog which is also available now salesman should bring it by to you it's on page 67 There's all kind of charts here. I think the one with the propane is here at the bottom right hand corner, which would tell you that same information. Uh, just uh, don't worry about the tabs up on top. Your catalog won't have that unless you customize it like I did my own. But okay, if uh, let's get started. All right, Sammy's hooking up this uh, tester here. We're just gonna run product back into the tank. Always make sure you introduce uh, vapor to your propane uh, pump first and then liquid. We've already been pumping cylinders this morning here, so uh, we've got that taken care of. When uh, Sammy opens this lever here, we're going to see what the pressure is. That's the sweet beauty of this little uh, adapter here. You can actually check the pressure inside the tank. We're running right about, uh, what, about 80? 90, 90 90 pounds of uh, pressure the sun's been in the sun this morning being used a lot so uh, we're going to turn the pump on now and let a little bit of product circulate through and like I said we should be getting about 90 pounds of differential pressure all right we're letting product circulate through the pump is coming back into the nurse tank uh, when Sammy cuts this lever off, you'll see that dial raise up about 90 pounds of differential pressure over what it is now. Okay, he shut it off. The pump is now in bypass mode. Uh, you'll see that it's going to about 160 pounds of differential, which is about right, perfect. Um, if he wanted to test it again, he could open up the valve and go back into a flow. Uh, got the product flowing back through the tank. Now, if you did need to do an adjustment at this point, you could go back and turn your bypass clockwise to increase the pressure or counterclockwise to decrease the pressure. Thank you for watching.